Wait a minute now. What's going on? I use everything I got on this tournament. You lost our superstar to another coach. What's that smell? Is that a grudge? This is a perfect opportunity for dads to meet Uncle Drew, the greatest black top player I've ever seen in my life. Oh my nuts. Uncle Drew is a pure basketball soul. He loves basketball uh, being played the right way. Um, he's kind of purveyor of the game. He's the guardsman of the game, of the, of the great tennis that hold the game. And he believes that the tennis of basketball transfers to life, you know, being a good teammate, selfless, um, working with others, uh, those type of things. And so I think it's great that Uncle Drew gets a chance to uh, show the world that even at our age that you can still be great if you do the little things and if you have teamwork and if you're a family. And so uh, it, to me, he's just... Uh, happens to be a little bit older, but he's the same basketball player that we all knew uh, when he was doing his thing growing up. Come on, Drew, you told me these dudes can play. And this dude, he's a karate man. Hey, uh, he's meditating right now. This guy right here can't even see. Swish. We really like each other. We really hang out. It's not, you know, an ensemble brought together that never met each other. <laughs> we work and we hang with each other all the time. And so the inside jokes that we know, the fun that we have together, hopefully that just, um, gives a little confidence and relax the crowd, let them see that, you know, we're really enjoying what we're doing and we're really trying our hardest. And, uh, and I think that's going to add to the feel good of the film and the funny of the film as well. How's that geriatric team of yours? You got them all individual life alert bracelets? You still don't believe, do you? I got each of you a little something. Everybody knows he's the greatest personality on earth, the biggest sports figure that you could that you could have and uh, he's so cool and humble it's fun to work with and so Shaq that was that was easy that's that's what he does just have fun so we gonna ball we gonna ball this is where it happens let's do this it was a lot of fun uh, working with Betty Lou. She was feisty, and Lisa's feisty, and all Lisa had to do was bring out her playing personality. It would be easy. So uh, it was really great working with her, and I really like um, Betty Lou and Preacher's relationship in the movie. I think it has a lot of heart, a lot of sensitivity, and um, a lot of humor, too. So uh, it was great working with Lisa, Miss Betty Lou. Who are you? I'm here to make sure that he's tall enough to ride the ride that my man about to put him on. Hey.